Hi everyone, it's Coot here. In today's short video, I'm going to provide some simple tips and keys in terms of how do you deal with your inner critic. You know that inner critic that is constantly non-stop in your mind, robbing you of your dreams, hijacking you of your power, the inner critic that maybe you have a big project or something you're about to do or you're about to sit down and write your book or your work of art and the inner critic says, this is not going to be any good. You don't have t any talent. You've never done this before. Who do you think you are? You're too fat. You're too ugly. You're too short. You're too whatever. The inner critic that is going non-stop non-stop in your mind the tapes that are playing non-stop in your mind this is your inner critic what sort of things does your inner critic tell you what kinds of negative self-talk does your inner critic try to seduce you with if you listen to everything that your inner critic says you will not truly reach your full potential. If you listen to everything your inner critic says, it will hijack you from living your dreams. It will rob you of your power, your self-esteem, your sense of self-acceptance, self-love. It will inhibit and limit your ability to give your gifts and live your purpose and create the life that you truly want. Listening to your inner critic is very costly. It's very expensive. It will rob you of joy and happiness and the ability to express yourself freely and fully. So here's what's important. Is a, is, a, is a shift in your relationship with your inner critic. This is part of what's necessary. Where you start realizing just because a thought is in your mind it doesn't mean it's true. Many times, because the inner critic is telling us things, it's non-stop the voice in our minds, we often think just because a thought is in our minds that it must be true, it must be real, because it's in our minds. Just because a thought is in your mind doesn't mean it's real. Just because your inner critic is telling you something doesn't mean it's true. You are not your thoughts. You are not the voices in your mind. Many times, the voices in your mind that your inner critic is, 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 is saying to you aren't even yours. If you really take a moment, step back and become aware, which is a key, you take a moment, step back, become aware, and you observe the inner critic, what you'll often hear the inner critic saying has nothing to do with you. It's, you we've often taken on the voices of our parents. We've often taken on some of that self, negative self-talk of our grandparents, stuff that was passed down to us. So what's important is that you start cultivating a level of awareness and become conscious because often when the inner critic is going non-stop, we aren't even conscious. We're even, we're even in a trance. We're not, we're not aware. We're not awake, so to speak. So you have to first become aware and start observing your inner critic, become conscious and start observing the voices. When you start when you observe something, you then start realizing if you can observe it, then you are not it. If you can observe it, you are not it. You are that which is observing. But when you're caught up in something, you actually think you're the voice. You think you're it. And once you're caught up in it, it's hard to change that which you think you are. So become aware, become conscious, begin to observe. Once you start observing your inner critic, you start to cultivate a different relationship with it. Then you can begin to question, start questioning your inner critic. And, and rather than taking everything that it's saying to be true and living it out and it becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy, you start questioning your inner critic. You can start asking, is this fact? Is this voice fact? I'm not enough. I'm too fat. I'm too ugly. Whatever it says, this art's going to be terrible. Is it fact or is it fiction? Many times, most of the time, the things that our inner critic says, the negative self-talk, have nothing to do with reality. They're just conditioned tapes that have been passed down to us for decades, for generations. So you start questioning your mind. You start questioning and you start realizing just because a thought is in your mind doesn't mean it's true. You are not your mind. You are not your thoughts. What you are is so much more. It's not the thoughts that you think that are really important. What's really important is the importance that you give the thought. And then you can start, and when you realize that, then you stop fighting the inner critic because what you resist persists. And the more you fight, the more you judge the inner critic in an adversarial relationship with your inner critic, the more you give it power, the more you reinforce the inner critic. 
You know, many times as a way to try and change ourselves, we, we get upset that we are, we, are, we are being run by the inner critic. And what we often try and do is, maybe you've had this experience, you, you end up criticizing your inner critic. Now you're, now you're doubly in trouble, right? First, first, up until that moment, it was just your inner critic. Now you're a critic of your inner critic. That's a big problem. <laughs> so when you take a step back and you observe, you start questioning your thoughts, you start questioning the inner critic, but you also start realizing, wait a second, many times the reason that your inner critic is doing what it's doing is not a negative intention, even though the effects are negative or the way it's going about it, which is negative, negative self-talk is not so great, is not productive. You start realizing, as you take a step back, that what your, what your inner critic is often trying to get you is, is something positive. Usually it's trying to, to, to keep you safe in some way. Why is it trying to keep you safe? Why is it trying to protect you? Trying to protect you is, a, is actually a good intention. Why is it trying to protect you? It doesn't want you to get hurt. It doesn't want you to get hurt. It wants to keep you safe. This is a beautiful intention. Just the way it's going about it is not so effective, productive, efficient, or positive. So you start realizing that underlying every behavior is a positive intention. So you, you realize that your inner critic actually has a positive intention. And when you can see that your inner critic has a positive intention, then rather than judging it and rather than beating it up, you can start shifting your relationship with it to start bringing compassion. To me, the only real way to heal something, the only real way to transform your relationship with the inner critic part of yourself is not through judgment, is not by bullying yourself to be different, but is actually through compassion. Healing is the application of love and compassion to the parts of you that are in pain. And I'm going to propose that the inner critic in some way is a part of you that's in pain, which is why it's doing what it's doing to try and get out of pain. Your inner critic has a positive intention. Recognize its positive intention. Take a step back. Breathe. When the voices in your mind are going on, take a step back. Observe. Breathe. Acknowledge your inner critic. Say thank you. I appreciate that. Maybe you're about to write a book or about to do a work of art. You can observe your inner critic and say, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not going to listen to you right now, but thank you very much. I appreciate your intention. I know you're trying to keep me safe. I know you're trying to keep me from rejection. I know you're trying to keep me from getting hurt or experiencing failure, having my heart broken. Thank you very much, inner critic. I appreciate you. Bless you. You can hug it. You can love it. You can send it love and compassion. And... Take the action that you know you must take anyway. You are not the voices in your mind. You are not what your inner critic tells you. You are a powerful being. You are a soul full of force, energy, and light. You are infinite. Love your inner critic and set yourself free. Folks, if you enjoyed this video blog, please do share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to my uh, email list. I'll be sending you weekly updates for your inspiration. Connect with me on Instagram, Facebook as well. Big hugs. Love now.